it all starts with our mission statement. The beginning of that is to contribute to human welfare. And that statement was written by our founder, Earl Bakken, um, back in 1960. And not one word of it has changed since then. And I think that's what engages and empowers our people at Medtronic. And at the Tempe campus, um, when we think of our work, the patient is always front and center in our thoughts and minds. When you think of a patient getting a device, you know, they don't want to be reminded constantly that they've got this large uh, object in their chest. And so we, we really focus on how do we shrink these devices so that they don't even know they're there. Um, and on top of that, over the years, the sophistication of the therapy of our devices has gone way up. Our devices are sensing what's happening in the body. Uh, the devices are developed so that they're MRI safe. A person can go in and have a full MRI scan now. They're developed so that data can be sent to the physician so we can monitor the patient's health and progress. So you see all these changes over the years and at the same time the devices are shrinking. And I think Tempe has contributed hugely to that uh, uh, accomplishment. One of the things that I was most proud of when I, when I retired and left Medtronic was that the team that I had in place didn't skip a beat. In fact, I think it was a good thing that I stepped aside because they stepped up to the plate and did things over the last seven to eight years that were just phenomenal accomplishments for Medtronic. I decided to get into leadership coaching as kind of an encore career. And I work with Medtronic now and other companies um, uh, helping to coach young leaders especially to accelerate their impact in their organization. It's just a great feeling to see leaders grow to see them reach beyond themselves and to um, be courageous, recognize that they can be doing a whole lot more than they're doing and uh, kind of just uh, grab that opportunity and, um, and run with it. And we've seen a lot of growth inside the company at Medtronic and I'm privileged to be part of that. Companies here in Phoenix can play a major part through something as simple as mentoring. Being going into the schools, sharing their experiences in science, math, and engineering, showing some of the uh, advances in, um, in medical technology are going to get kids excited and hopefully excited to see a career and a future uh, in the biosciences.